Good morning, everyone. So glad you came out to see In the Kitchen with Alice. Today we have a few different things I'm going to prepare in front of you. We're going to be looking at some beautiful grains and some beans and some vegetables. And with the grains and beans, I'm going to show a little bit of the preparation of those. Many people haven't been uh, working out of their kitchens to prepare their own meals. So this may be a review for people that were preparing meals for their families over the years and got away from it. We now have such a fast-paced life that many people are going and getting food made by other people. So I'm introducing you back to your kitchens again. And here we have a bowl of vegetables with some of the healing root vegetables that can be used in our food preparation. Okay, today we are talking about grains. Grains have been at the center of every culture all over the world. Here we have millet, here we have rice, uh, oats, barley, uh, rye. All the different grains are growing in different parts of the world. And in different parts of the world, the grains are really at the center of each culture and they, the culture revolves around the growing of the grains. So for instance, in Asia, we have our rice, and in the Middle East, millet, and in Northern Europe, barley, rye, wheat, in the Americas, corn and wheat. So we, we really have these staple foods at the center of the diet from a certain point in humanity on. This is a wonderful feeling to be working with all the different grains. They all feel differently. And when you do the sifting, you're really working from the bottom of the bowl and making sure to get the water through all of the small pieces of grains. Okay. And every time you do it, the water is a little clearer. Okay. So this is how we will clean our beautiful grains. The same thing goes for our beans. When we work with our beans, it's sometimes helpful to, to spread them out onto a surface, a bowl, or even a plate. And you can see if there are any small stones in your beans. And if you see any, you can take them right out, yeah? And then again, the same thing. You want to wash your beans as well. Eden is a company that sells wonderfully high quality products. And so I'm just demonstrating one of their products to you that can be used. A piece of kombu is one kind of seaweed that's very, very uh, dynamic and strong and strengthening. And seaweeds help to digest beans. So if you put two inches of seaweed into your beans, and let's just say we had cleaned the beans more thoroughly, yeah? And then we prepare our pan. Let's pour off our water. And then we would put the beans and the water into our pan to cook the beans. And with that two inches of kombu, this will help in the cooking process. And in fact, most of this will become soluble and actually dilute into the water and make a wonderful thick uh, thickening that happens while you cook your beans. Let's move on to our next part of our presentation. Here we have our grains here. Okay. Okay. And our next part of the presentation hmm, has to do with these vegetables. <clears throat> um, these vegetables are, I, I've actually added more to the, to the recipe than we're going to end up with. We have cabbage, and winter squash, and onion, ginger, carrot, and burdock. I'm showing you the burdock root because when we add root vegetables to our 
our um, nutrition, we are getting the strength that comes with the force and the power that comes with root vegetables that go down into the earth. We will begin with our carrots. And with carrots, you always want to um, maybe take the tip off if you see anything at the tip, but you really want to leave the, the skin of the carrot on. Uh, in, in the case of the root vegetables, most of the nutrition is in the skin, so we don't want to remove the skin. However, if you have a little bit that's grown here, a little brown, um, you can take just a teeny, teeny bit off the bottom. Most of the power in the carrot, carrot grows down into the root, uh, as a root into the ground, and then it grows its greenery here. Most of the potency of the carrot is not only in the skin, but also right at this spot where the root goes down and the greens come up. So we don't want to really lose this part of the carrot. The root part, the bottom of the root. You can take out a little bit of the heart of the root there. Peel off a little bit of the skin because we're only looking for a small portion of this onion. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we take just a portion of it here. Mm -hmm. You always want to put your onion down, you know, because all of the fumes are coming out. Actually very good for people who need to clear their ears young children who have earaches, they put the onion to And it's not necessary to cut them into cubes or anything because actually we're making a broth from these four ingredients. Mm -hmm. Put the onions in, and some cabbage, and again just as a, a portion to make a quarter of a cup. And here you can see all the leaves of the cabbage, very beautiful. Okay, and here we have our cabbage. And then a little bit of the winter squash. squash into, into slices is fine. Mm -hmm. okay. And there we have our wonderful four ingredients for our, our uh, wonderful medicinal drink. So we have our carrots, our onions, cabbage, and squash. And these make well, we've probably made more like two cups of the substances. So I would do, if this were one cup, it would be six cups of water, but you could really double that. Make eight to 10 cups of water, maybe 12. Fill your pot with your vegetables. And then let it really cool a little bit and then you can pour it into a pitcher and that pitcher would make you enough to have a cup a day for maybe three days so a, I'm sorry a cup in the morning a cup in the evening for about three days so it should work out that uh, this drink is really made to level blood sugar wonderful wonderful drink for leveling blood sugar and it's also very all of those medicinal I, I would say all of the plant life that we eat as food is really our medicine. And these plants will help to calm down the energies of those organs. And those organs are all related to the energies of how we are living in our lives. There's no need to eat the vegetables themselves. You strain the broth off. You can put the vegetables aside, use them for another purpose. But really, all of the nutrients in the vegetables have been cooked into the water. 
So it's really the broth or the water that we've created the sweet vegetable drink that becomes the nutritional drink for our, for our specific purposes. With those who have diabetes, I've used it for years. It's amazing to level blood sugars. And for those who are having um, emotional or stomach problems, um, these vegetables are very, very healing to all of the organs in the inner part of the body, the central part of the body. So very good. So glad that you came out. I hope that you can be encouraged to return to your kitchens and begin to use the beautiful grains and beans and vegetables that will start to heal many of the conditions uh, we are facing in America. So thank you so much for coming out. Have a lovely day. I welcome you back to our next session of In the Kitchen with Alice, and I'll see you in a week.